Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Saeed and today I got you a new tutorial about OpenBLC. This tutorial will go through installing OpenBLC and get it up and running and create the first example that's on their side for your first project. Uh, then the next video, we will have a written example for automation system and we're going to convert it from a written question to an actual hardware implementation. Of course, we're going to use Arduino. We're not going to use BLC because if we had BLC, we probably will not be using simulation software like OpenBLC. For those tutorials, I will try to be as much as precise and accurate and detailed with not going overboard with it. The videos will be slightly on the length side but hopefully they will cover as much as you need and skip everything that you already know and need nothing for and if you have any questions just put them down in the comments down below I'll get to them as fast as I can and now let's start so let's get to it so to start with OpenBLC we need to download something called a runtime so in the runtimes in my case I'm gonna be using Windows so I'm going to download the Windows software. Of course, you can use Linux. I believe Mac is not supported, but maybe when you watch it, it will be supported. But till today, only Windows is supported. So we're going to press on that. I will provide those links in the description down below. You can either get them from the description down below or type them here or go from the home screen and get started and go through it all. So first of all, we need to download the OpenBLC runtime installer. You just click it, download it, and you're good to go. You just need to uninstall it, and it's okay. You don't need me to show you how to click download. Then we'll need the Arduino files or the slave files. So if we get here, we will find that there are many ports that is supported by OpenBLC. Today we're gonna use Arduino. So we need to download the sketch that will be running on the Arduino to allow the OpenBLC to interface with it and control it. In my case today, I'm gonna be using Arduino Ono. If you have any other supported boards, just download the appropriate file. You're just gonna click it, download, and you're good to go. Okay, now we got the file that we need. Now we need to install them and get them going. So go where you downloaded your files. This is my location at this time. So you just install the OpenBLC, double click it, install, and you know what you're doing. You don't need me to show you how to install it. Then the OpenBLC for Ono, of course, if you have like a Mega or something else, you'll download the appropriate file for it. First of all, we need to just extract it here. We will get this folder. Keep the folder, do not extract, like open this, then open and extract them like this, because they will ask you to be included in a folder with the name of the same sketch. If you ever use Arduino before you know this, and if you're not, probably all of those will be unreadable and there you do not have this icon here. For this, you need Arduino IDE. Just to do it, to have it, if you do not have it already, just go here, Arduino IDE, Arduino software, and you can just unload a Windows installer. If you have Windows, if you have Linux, go for Linux, just download and you'll have it. So after having this, so after reaching this point, we need to upload the sketch on the Arduino. So we need to connect the Arduino with our open the sketch. Make sure that the serial port is correct. Then just click upload. You'll see the lights flashing, then stopping. This means the Arduino is reading them, and you have done uploading here as well. After that, I'm installing this. Let's go to the website and see what they are saying. We're gonna follow the documentation for this at the beginning. Then the next video, as I said, we're gonna do an example from scratch. So if we go back here, get started. We go to the Windows. After installing the runtime, you will find that you have this folder in your start menu. We're gonna open it and open the OpenBLC runtime. So you can just go here, OpenBLC runtime. It's a start to work. It's basically starting a local server at your machine. 
so you can interface and interact with the open blc this probably means nothing for you never mind it doesn't really matter as long as you see running on hp http whatever it is saying you're good to go minimize it and keep following of course if you have any problems you have the troubleshooting section but personally it installed perfectly so i had nothing to complain about but of course by all means if you have anything follow the troubleshooting guide after that we need to open the local host so if we just come down here we find local host that asking us to enter our credentials this is the server openblc web server that we just started using openblc runtime to enter this server you need your credentials if you go down here you'll find that the default credentials are openblc for the password and for the username so you just add use them and you log in for me they are already saved however you just copy paste or write them down it's okay you will have this interface probably will not have a program here but this is basically what you're gonna have after that if we go back to the documentation they will tell you if you want to change your credentials your username and password just go for users you can either edit them delete the user or add a new one it's up to you for me i will just keep my current credentials then set up a slave io this is basically getting the arduino to work and the slave for the open blc so the open blc controls it and give it using the give it orders using serial port to do this you're just gonna click on slave devices you will not find anything here but because i added mine before it exists so you just click add new device then you add your Arduino, your device name, in my case, I uh, called it my Arduino, your board, Arduino Uno in my case, and everything is set except the port. Probably, if you have nothing else except the Arduino Uno connected, it will only be one board. If you want to make sure what kind of what port is actually connected to your Arduino, there is advanced ways, but the easiest one is just go to your Arduino sketch tools, ports, cellular port. And you got this COM3, so we know that we are on COM3. So make sure it's the correct port, then say save device. Now, congratulations, you got your Arduino working with OpenBLC, but the thing is, we have no program to work with it. So, after doing that, come the next step. So, this is, will be our first project. So, it's a very simple project. You have two push buttons, one of them start the LED. And then the other one shut it down. Here is more a breakdown of the project. Read it if you want. It's basically what I just said. And we gonna need two push buttons, one LED, and two resistance. Those will be our pull down resistance, and they need to be from one kilo to ten kilo ohms. Use whatever you have. Then let's start. If you see the documentation, it tells you it needs to download an OpenPLC editor. However, you already have it. If you follow the step here. You'll find that the OpenBLC runtime installer already comes bundled with the OpenBLC editor. So to access it, you just go to your start menu, OpenBLC folder, and you'll find an OpenBLC editor. Let it run. And while it's starting, let's lock here. Of course, for this, we're gonna use ladder. If you look down, down here a little bit, we're gonna be using ladder. It's the very one of the most common languages for programming BLC and one of the easiest ones. Of course, there are other types of programming languages it supports, but we're gonna follow this and the next pro project and the next example will be as well in another. So if we come here and follow documentations, it tells you how to create a new project and we and there is something note um, and there is a note here as well. We're gonna come across it and a configuration and note here as well. So did it run? Yeah, 